troops how are we doing it's your boy jay welcome to another episode of eaton west weekly today we're back in um uh, solihull how we doing so welcome to the project once again so guys we've been showing you guys this project from the start and the build going up etc etc right a lot of the stuff that we do isn't really relatable to what the viewers or the people the man them want to see yeah so um we got something a little bit more relatable for you guys today yeah and that's the underfloor heating going down boom from the whole ground floor so come check it out yeah so guys, let's come check it out, yeah? Now the cameraman's a little bit grumpy this morning because usually he gets up at around um, uh, 12 o'clock, but today he's on site for seven o'clock. So let's all give him a round of applause, troops, yeah? <laughs> so check this, guys, yeah? Remember in the last episode, we tried to do a bit of chin-up for me. It ain't gonna happen this time around, yeah? We've got the underfloor heating, guys, yeah? Just to recap quickly what's actually happened, right? We had um, um, floor joists. Uh, and then we had uh, floorboards on the whole of the ground floor throughout. So what we did was we took everything up, we concreted the whole of the, 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 the ground floor um, with a sub base. And then what we've done now is we've got 150 mil of PIR or Celotex insulation, which guys you can see right behind you. Um, it's gone uh, throughout the ground floor. We're gonna put some images so you guys can see it all, yeah? Then what we've done is foil tape all the joints uh, so that um, it's all sealed. Then we've got the DPM over the whole of the ground floor and uh, and then we've laid these coils of pipe. So all the kitchen planning and um, all the pre, I don't know, site meetings, etc., etc., all boils down to this point here because um, we had to make sure that the kitchen and everything was in the right place before we start chucking the coils down. The reason I say that is wherever the units are going to go, you don't have the underfloor heating. So what we tend to do, right, is we mark it out with a bit of this barrier pipe. So we mark this bit out. We have marked out where the island is. We've done the exact same thing going along there as well. So that's where the kitchen's going to go, and that's where the kitchen's going to go. Uh, and you don't want no heating underneath it because it will obviously heat up with food, etc., like that. Now, yeah, we've got all our first fixing as well. So this is the gas pipe. Um, um, you know for the unit we've got um electrical cabling uh for the units as well that's gone in i think really and then obviously all the drainage and the waste is already in as well right so you can see the uh, one of the waste points just over there gas electric so everything's run underneath here ready for us to squeeze and progress further troops and then all the underfloor heating it comes to this point here now this is a manifold and this is for your underfloor heating it's got to be accessible right we're going to have it in the garage and the reason we've got the board behind it is we're going to plaster board around it and we're going to make it look um quite a bit tidy we can always unscrew it off of the wall just to get the plaster board behind it the reason we've done this is because we needed to get it up to test it now you're wondering what if there's a leak or anything in your underfloor heating then you worry troops what we do is once the manifold is up we um we pressure test it and we leave it on something called two bar that's usually basically this gauge here on two bars uh, once it's on two bars we leave it there we leave it for about 48 hours we come back if it's still on two bar wicked if it's not on two bar then there's a problem there might be a leak somewhere um, this one here um, I believe the guys water tested it so they poured water in the whole system filled it up with a hose pipe and then they made sure there's no leaks um, that's a quicker way to test it because then you can see if there's any water uh, uh, coming out from anywhere like that so that's it guys yeah guys thank you for watching another episode of eat and west weekly remember guys yeah like share subscribe tell all your mates your family and all that my beard is coming in my mouth then <laughs> um uh make sure you tell all your mates your friends and family and all that and um, we'll see you guys yeah in a fortnight <laughs>